Hey, June, what's up? Just got done at the gym. Gross. I showered. Okay, well, I'm at the coffee shop and some stuff is going down. Is that creepy guy in there again? The one with the hairy arms? No, I'm sitting out back on the patio and there's a woman that I've never seen out here with her little girl. Uh, okay. The girl has to be about 12 or so? I guess she's in the fifth grade. So, you're eavesdropping then? Look, it ain't my fault. It would be impossible not to eavesdrop on these two. Why? What's going on? Are they fighting or something? Yeah, and something. They're doing some kind of homework and the mom is being a total, um, well, you know what, to her own kid. Homework? But it's summer. Well, I guess, but just barely. I don't understand. Those kids go back earlier and earlier now. I know, I feel like when we were kids, it wasn't until the end of the month, but now it's like the middle. Poor kids. And poor this kid especially. Why? They're doing some kind of language arts, English thing, maybe summer school, uh, prep, I don't know. And it's, uh, it's not going well. Uh-oh. Yeah, this mom is... Ugh. I didn't know that parents were allowed to act that way anymore. What's she doing? The girl is just clearly not getting whatever it is she's working on. She just isn't understanding it. And the mom isn't helping or anything. The mom is just sitting around crocheting. Crocheting? Seriously? Yeah, and then when the kid tells her that she can't do whatever it is, the mom just says, Oh, yes you can. You just aren't trying hard enough. Just try. Stop whining and try. Um, isn't a coffeehouse patio section kind of a strange place to be doing homework? Well, I'm doing my homework, but my mom isn't sitting here making me cry about it. The girl is crying? Yep. Like, real tears? Face is all red, she's taking her glasses off? I feel terrible for her. And what's the mother doing? Just smiling at her like it's some big freaking joke. Uh, how are there still parents like that, and to act that way in public, no less? I thought that after the little girl pointed me out, the mom would stop, but nope. Should I say something? Like what? What are you going to say? I don't know, like, hey, I majored in English, maybe I could help? I don't know if that's a very good idea, Gracie. But why not? People can be very picky about their kids, especially moms, especially about strangers telling them how to raise them. I guess you're right. If it bothers me so much, I could always just go inside, right? Or you could just stay there and drive yourself insane, which is what you're going to do. You know me so well. Just put your earbuds in and go back to writing. Remember what we talked about? Uh, no? Of course you don't. Well, what was it? About distraction, Gracie. About getting distracted when you're trying to write. Oh, yeah, that. Well, I'm sorry, I'm a writer. I'm a student of the human condition. All right, well, have it your way, Miss Nosy. June, this woman is insane. Who, you? You didn't have to tell me that. No, not me. This crazy lady who's bullying her kid. So what's she doing now? She told her that if she's so upset, she should run around the building twice to calm down. Wait a minute, are you serious? Did she do it? Yes, and then she came back just sweaty and crying. Oh, well, that's not going to help things. Uh, you know what? I think I need to say something. Oh, wait, you mean to the mom? Are you sure that's a good idea? Well, I'm the only one that's out here. Who else is going to defend this little kid? But, Gracie, you don't know if this lady is crazy or what. People are very sensitive about their kids. I know, but I... Gracie, what's up? I mean, I know that it's upsetting to see that in public, but it's nothing too unusual, is it? You don't understand, June. I guess I don't. What is it that I'm missing? She just... She reminds me of something, okay? Of someone. Oh, um... I see. Well, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Well, um, maybe I should. Maybe I should talk about it with you. Jeez, Gracie, uh, this must be pretty serious. Well, it's just that I, I never told you about my mom, did I? 
Well, I mean, I've heard some about your mom. Is there something else that I need to know? Did you know that she was a teacher? Wait, your mom was a teacher? I thought she was an administrator. Well, she was a teacher first. She was my teacher. Oh, crap. You mean your mom was your teacher? Yep, fifth grade. Twice. Wait a minute. Twice? Um, yeah. Oh, I, I see. I never told you that I had to repeat the fifth grade, did I? No, but it's nothing to be ashamed of, Gracie. I know how smart you are, and even if you weren't, I wouldn't care. You're my friend. Well, I appreciate that, but I don't think it had anything to do with smarts. It was my mother. How so? I mean, if you want to talk about it. She was a lot like this mom that I'm watching torture her own kid with cruel indifference. Indifference? But your mom was a teacher, and she was indifferent? I guess that she had a bunch of other kids' education that she was worried about more than my own, her own daughter's. Oh my gosh, and you had to repeat the grade? Once I finally got some actual help, I did okay, but you can see why I'm so irked by the woman here. But your mom is so nice. Yeah, she's nice now, but back then she was the mean teacher. So she not only was the mean teacher, but she was your mom. It wasn't easy. Well, look, none of that matters now. You're educated, you're intelligent, you have a great job. Well, thanks, but I don't know. Oh, come on, what do you mean? I don't know, I think my confidence was kind of forever shaken by all of that. And this woman is bringing it all back. And that poor little girl, she reminds me so much of me. Earbuds, Gracie. Writing, try to focus on the writing. <sighs> all right, fine. I'll try my best. Well, that didn't work. What do you mean it didn't work? What happened? I just can't focus on anything else, June. The woman reminds me so much of my mother right now, and it's getting worse. Uh, what's going on now? The kid is literally shaking, saying how she doesn't know where the parentheses go. Just the parentheses? Seriously? She, she doesn't know that? June, that isn't very nice. Alright, well, what do you think you should do? I feel like I'm on that show, actually. What show? You know, what would you do? Um, I've never heard of that one. It's that show with hidden cameras in public places, and... I'd hope it wouldn't be hidden cameras in private places. Uh, anyway... They have actors that do awful things, like treat waiters like crap, and then they see if strangers intervene. Uh, never seen that. Well, anyway, I feel like I'm on it. Maybe you are. Uh, don't make me paranoid. So then, Gracie, what would you do? Um, probably just do what I'm doing. Sit here on my butt and do nothing. Listen, Gracie, I know that you're a principled person and that you'll do what's right. And what is that? I don't know what that is. Sure you do. Just listen to the little girl inside of you. The little girl inside of me? Yes, of course. The little girl inside of you can always tell you what you should do. So you mean, my conscience? Well, um, yeah, I guess so. So why don't you just say that then? What's with all this creepy little girl crap? I don't know. Some new age crap my sister said that's seeping into my brain. Sorry. All right, well, cool it with the mysticism, Miss C. All. But... I don't know, should I say anything or not? Just tell me. Tell me what you would do. Your little June. Uh, my little June wouldn't get between a mama bear and her cub. Yeah, um... Especially these days when everybody is out of their mind. I suppose those are words of wisdom. They seem to be quieting down anyway, for the moment. Well, that's good at least. But if it gets really bad, I don't know, maybe I should tell the owners? I don't know, that may be traumatic for the kid, too. So there's basically no good solution from my end, is that what you're saying? Damned if you do, damned if you don't. So what do I do, just sit here? You leave, or you bear witness. Or I can make you bear witness too. And how would you go about doing that? Voice to text. What do you mean? I mean, I'll turn on voice to text so you'll get a transcription of what this awful woman is saying to her daughter. Oh, jeez. I don't really know if I want to hear that, Gracie. Then you can help me decide what I should do. Come on, help me out. I'm weak. 
Ugh, fine, but I don't feel good about this. I'm not so sure it's ethical. Oh, ethical schmethical. Ever the wordsmith, Gracie. Oh, I swear to God, would you just get this over with so we could go home already? Uh, hello, Gracie? But Mom, I just can't do it anymore, okay? I'm exhausted. I don't know why, but I am. You know it, you just aren't trying hard enough. Ugh, don't you think I'm exhausted too? Gracie, hello? Hey, June. Sorry, that was voice to text. That was the mother and daughter. Wait a minute. That was them? So now you know how terrible they are. Oh my. But I thought you said that they were slowing down. Something set them off again. I don't know. Something about capitalization? I so just want to go over there and try to help her. So just do it already. Here, you have to listen to this. It's not that hard, and crying isn't going to make it any better. Now, come on, your brother can do this, and he's in the third grade, and slow. Oh, my God. But, Mom, please, I I'm just so anxious. You're making me anxious. You're making yourself anxious. Now put your face back in that book. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You see, I told you it was bad, and this is what my mother was like all throughout my middle school years. You mean she was that dictatorial? And that was just in public. Oh, wow. Gracie, I had no idea. It's not something that we talk about much. I was going to say, I thought that you two had an okay relationship. We do now, but it wasn't always like that. So you've worked things out then? Um, no. Then maybe that's what this is all really about. What do you mean? I mean, maybe you need to talk to your mom and finally deal with this with her. Yeah, I guess I probably should do that one of these days. Maybe after Christmas. No, how about now? Now? Why does it have to be now? Because you do agree that's what's preventing you from speaking up for that little girl, right? Um, yeah. So, then what better time than now? And plus, you have work to do, remember? You're insane. This is going to backfire. But what about the little girl? You're guilting me into confronting my mom? Hey, you're the one who brought it up. Oh, hold on. I think I need another shot of espresso. Or uh, one less. Hey, Mom. How are you? Oh, hello, Gracie. I'm fine. Just catching up on my Jeopardy episodes on the DVR. Oh, great. That's nice. You know, I really prefer Ken or Mayim, don't you? I don't know, really. Uh, I, I don't think I actually have a preference. Oh, you... Don't? Well, that's interesting. Is it? I mean, it's just that usually everybody has a preference when it comes to hosts. Well, um, I don't. Is everything all right, honey? Um, sure. Sure, Mom. Absolutely. Everything is fine. Now, don't lie. You and I have a relationship based on honesty and trust, remember? Okay, well then, there is something that's bothering me. It's okay, dear. You can tell me all about it. Well, it's just that it's not so easy to tell you is the thing. Oh, and how is that? You know that I'm your mother and you can tell me anything. So I can tell you how damaged I still feel from how you treated me in middle school? Oh, uh, what? What are you talking about? About how hard you were on me that fifth grade year when I was your student. What? Hard on you? About how you singled me out in front of the other kids and made me feel like I had to work so much harder just because I was your daughter. You were my daughter and my student. I couldn't afford you any leniency. I had to. Had to what, Mom? I had to set an example for the children. Tell them that... that... That what? That if you were willing to treat your own daughter this way, there's no telling what you'd do to them? I... No, absolutely not. So you're just going to deny that you were cruel and bullying towards me in middle school? I don't have to deny it. Your brother and sisters will back me up a hundred percent. They never had you as a teacher. And besides, I was first born by a long shot, if you know what I mean. Yes, yes, whatever. 
the point is, I was never cruel and bullying, if that's what this is about. Some kind of new thing your therapist is recommending you do or something? Then just tell me already so I can start ignoring you. No, Mom. I just want to know why. There was no reason. There was nothing. I didn't do anything, okay? Mom, I have to tell you... I'm at a coffee shop and this woman is berating her daughter about her homework. Yeah, so? And, well, it reminds me exactly of you and I back then. Oh, come on, I never berated you about anything. Yes, you did, you berated me about everything. Honey, I would rather not be berated about this right now. Mom, can I voice text just so you can listen to what this woman is saying to her daughter? No, I won't invade a stranger's privacy like that, and neither should you. Now, goodbye. So, did you talk to your mom? Yeah, and she denied everything. Oh no, she said that none of it ever happened. Which is worse than anything, right? To just deny it like this? I, I don't know, Gracie. I'm sorry. So what should I do? What does the little girl in you say this time, huh? Well, what was that idea you had? A voice to text? Maybe you should bombard her like you did me. I guess I could, but I don't know how she'll handle it. Listen to me. You're going to do this already. I am tired of your whining. Just do it and shut up. Uh, hello, Gracie? But, Mom, I can't. I'm done. I can't. I hate you. I hate myself. Oh, my goodness. Mom, that was voice to text. That was this mom and daughter. And you say I used to sound like that to you? Look, memory is a weird thing, but that's definitely how I felt. Oh, I know it was. You do? I'm sorry, honey. I've been in denial, I suppose. But maybe you're right. But I, I need to hear you say it. I need to hear why you think that. Everything I said about treating you the way I did, it really was because of the other students. But now I know that that was wrong. That maybe it was kind of hard having my own mom as my teacher? Well, um, yeah, exactly. I'm sorry, honey. Uh, can we please work this out? I've been wanting to for a long time. Of course, Mom. Thank you for listening to me. I really want to do that. Oh, I'm so glad. And I'm so sorry for being quiet on the subject for so long. Thanks for saying so. Better late than never, I guess. But what do I do about this woman and her girl in the meantime? Whatever you feel like you should do, dear. It's not a matter of feeling, it's a matter of acting. That's always the hardest part, but you confronted me today. What else can you confront? Hey, so what happened to you earlier? Did you ever talk to your mom about all that stuff? Why yes, as a matter of fact I did. And we ended up working out a lot of stuff actually. Well, I'm very happy for you. How does it feel to have conquered a fear? I think it's going to be okay. I'm going to go over there tonight, and we're going to have a long talk. And what about the woman and her daughter? Did the cops have to be called? No, and I was literally about to say something, like sucking a breath even. Yeah, and what happened? Well, they got up and left. Uh, off to fight another day. I know. I failed the what-would-you-do test big time. Honestly, I don't know what I would have done either. It's sad. I just don't know how a parent can't see that bullying their kid doesn't work. Live and learn, Gracie. Live and learn. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I learned something, but what about them? That's not your responsibility. I just hope everything works out for them. Like it did for me, eventually. 30 years later. Better late than never. That night, Gracie went over to her mom's house and they talked everything out. Even though there were a lot of tears and hurt feelings shared, in the end, 
they both felt better about things. Gracie never saw the mom and daughter from the coffee shop again, but hopes that somehow, somewhere, the daughter will be okay. <laughs>